If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. If I fall, not sell out, that's we. That's why I take my time. Before I make my mind up. And I do this like seven days out of the week. And I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had to earn my stripes. So I don't have to work no nine. It's been a while since I've been fishing for a while. And I want you to remember. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Red Network. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips, and I'm back for another vlog, y'all. Look, man, I've been gone for about a month. Been about a month since my last vlog, man. Where you been at? See, if y'all haven't been watching my channel updates, I've been in college, man. I enrolled back in college. Been in college for about 20 years now. Yeah, yeah, 20 years. Don't judge me. But yeah, man, I'm quite busy, man. I'm taking five classes. I'm taking two math statistic classes, biology A and P, chemistry and philosophy. I got a chemistry test today, so while I'm out here fishing, I'll tell you why. Now, how can I say this without sounding too offensive? You know, people are sensitive these days. I've been watching YouTube and, how do I say this? I don't want to sound offensive. There's been a bunch of um, trash ass content. Trash content out there on YouTube, man. Why are you doing that to the people, man? You can't be YouTubers bringing that trash content for the people. So the people champ is coming back to upload some dope content. Cause you know, I'm, I got an ego and I need a, a lot of likes and views. Make sure you thumbs up this video. So let's go, I'm ready to have some fun. What's the goal? The goal today is simple. Everybody been catching bull reds. I think it's pretty much impossible to catch a bull red in the marsh. It's the marsh back there. But um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna be the first person to ever catch a bull red in the marsh in Freeport slash Galveston, Texas. First person to ever do it. Now I know what you're saying right now. There's people who've been caught, you know, bull reds in the marshes, MDLR, he caught one. I don't care about MDLR fishing, okay? I'm gonna be the first black person ever to catch a bull red in a kayak. I think I can do it. Let us go. Lego! It was always on fire, our house, our dreams. We were dancing on a wire, reckless, it seemed. Walk. We like what we saw Seems so strong until it falls The final fall Alright, alright, alright So we at the spot Right behind me is the entrance to the bayou Y'all, uh, it's like 9.30, man. I should've been here three hours ago. I don't wanna talk about it, but I'm here now, okay? I'm here now. The whole early bird catches the worm. I don't care about that. Late bird is catching the worm today. Let's talk about gear, baby. So I have my old 18 ultralight rod, seven foot. I got my Shimano Vanford 500. We're going with 10 pound braid with a 10 pound leader. I'm gonna try this little this is Johnny. I always say I'm gonna tell y'all what it is, and I'll be forgetting, but I, I, I'm gonna remember today. Oh, let me tell y'all what this is right here. This is um Zoom Super Salt Plus Salty Super Fluke White Ice. And they ain't got more names in Hispanic. So that's what I'm gonna be using today, man. It has a little slit in the middle of the um, lure. Let me make sure I can get some sunlight. I need my light. I need my light, man. Black people. See, we need light. I need sun facing me, or is this gonna be a shadow, okay? Just a dark shadow. I don't got that white pill, does it have good lighting? And I'm gonna be using um, some mullet, pure cure, and the slit of this. When I was launching, man, there was like three kayakers who launched probably like 45 minutes ago, directly to the spot I'm going. Oh my God. It's all good, it's all good. Just because there's other kayaks fishing my spot on my bayou, I claim it as my own doesn't mean I still can't catch fish. So that's the goal, man. The goal is to try to get a bull red today. I say bull red because over the last three weeks, I've been having FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. 
and everybody's been catching bull reds, man. Today is like October 6, 2022. People catching bull reds at the Surfside Jetty, the beach, Bulliver. Everybody catching bull reds. But who catching bull reds in the marsh on a kayak? Go ahead, I'll wait. That's right, nobody. I'm going to be the first one. So that's the goal today, man. I'm going to catch the bull red and I'm going to call it a day. Man, I drove about 100 miles away from Houston to catch one fish. That's it, one fish. If this is your first time to my channel, um, I don't know if y'all caught the name of the, the, the channel. It's called Fish and Trips. My channel is about trips. I don't care about fish. If I catch one, I catch one. If I don't, I don't. Sorry for yelling. But yeah, man, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to get out here, do a little something, something. Like I say, we just got to get one. One on a boat. Let us go. Let go. All right. The entrance right here. I'm pretty sure it's going to have a trout. Where the trout at? Hey, it's almost flounder season, man. Ooh. 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 Okay. It's a little jump action. Check my drag. That's good. Hit this cubby over here. Outgoing tide. It's a little bait jumping. I know the mullet run is happening in Florida. I'm not really sure what that means for Texas, but I don't think the mullet come down here in Texas. I know the weather's like 75, thank God. Y'all, I pretty much miss all the summer fishing. June, July, I was like, mm -mm, not this year. The last two years I almost died of heat strokes, trying to deal with that summer heat, making content. Nah, man. I'm back out here October in these streets. October, November, December. Then it's gonna get too cold. Then it's gonna get too hot. So y'all ain't gonna see me like for another eight months after this video. <laughs> Just joking. All right, so we reached the back lake. Um, those three anglers that I saw at the boat ramp are back here. So I'll blow up right here. Just looking for some bird activity. The other back lake I went to, which took forever, there was only one bird. Just one bird working a school of like a hundred red. So you just gotta be really observant of like the small things. It's not gonna be like a big flock of seagulls sometime. It might be one bird. Just one bird. So we're gonna just peep the scene. It is huge back here. And see, can we find anything? I never seen, well, it wasn't a school. Maybe like five or six of them, like hitting up the coastline. We got hit. I think we just lost our lure. Yep, just lost our lure. Did we lose our damn? All right, y'all. So we lost our lure. There's nothing back here, man. I've been peeping about 15, 20 minutes. No activity, no birds. No nothing, man. And that's the reality of it. Sometimes you'll come all the way to these back lakes and might be an entire school of redfish. The majority of the times it's not. So I'm gonna head back towards where I came from. I'm gonna fish the opposite side of the bank where all the oyster are at, so I'm probably gonna get stuck a lot, but maybe that's the side where the fish are at. And I don't know. Let's go. Battery swap. I remember how I said, um, I don't care about the early bird catches the worm. I lied. Uh, I, I care. Um, I ain't catching nothing. I ain't catching nothing but some heat stroke. Keep working my way back to the front. Whatever, let's go. Coming up on two hours, not a bite. Two hours, man. 
see, I think I just kind of goes to show that if you can't get here right at sun sunrise, the hell with it. Ain't no point. Is that one? Is that one? Is that one? He just asked me what kind of fish this is. Oh man. Wow, bro. What is that? No idea. I ain't never seen no like that in my life. Wow. Hold on, I gotta take a picture of that. <laughs> All right. I have no clue. I ain't never seen a like that out here. Is that a, a triple chill? What is that?